Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, another video on Survival Challenge. I am Del the Gamer. I hope you're enjoying the series. So for today, um, I'm gonna fertilize uh, herbicide the canola field because I'm sure you can see we've got. Um, some quite big weeds over there now. So I'm gonna get that done. <coughs> and um and then I'll probably skip time to when we got the harvest because this isn't gonna take very long. We have got a twenty eight meter working width. And uh, <laughs> yeah, if we don't, we haven't really got anything else to do. See, so if we don't skip to harvest time, <laughs> which is the next time we'll have something to do, then this will only be like a two minute video. But uh, also please do let me know what you think I should do with the greenhouses. Um, should I sell one? Well I did have a great suggestion by Misled Plays, another great YouTuber out there. Um, of making it so that if it's making me a lot, I need to pay a lot more for them, you know? So, should I make it so that... I mean it's made me 200, around 200,000 in two months. Okay, I've skipped a couple of months to let the weeds grow. <coughs> and in two months he's made me about 200,000. Which is about 100,000 a month. So, should I make it so that they cost me extra? Like maybe another 30,000 it costs me per month. <coughs> or should I just leave it as it is? Please do let me know in the comment section what you think I should do <coughs> so I think in this episode all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray in here kill the weeds <coughs> and then I'm gonna fast forward to Harvest time, get a harvest, the combine, and we'll harvest it. And uh, <coughs> I think in the next episode, we maybe should be able to finish building the yard, hopefully, you know? <coughs> hopefully, we'll have enough for it, you know?
wonder what this looks like from the cab view. Okay, it does look pretty big. Sure, we've probably only got like maybe one more pass left. I'm hoping I don't have to head back up for the smallest strip. That's what probably will happen. That's what normally happens to me. <clears throat> it looks though like it should just about be manageable. I hope I haven't spoken too soon. go for a small combine like we had last time I'm gonna go more for like a medium sized one so I'm probably gonna go with a uh, New Holland I think the New Hollands are more medium sized when it comes to tank capacity and that So there we go, that's all done. We've used 11% um, of the tank. Pop it in the shed, keep it all nice and tidy. And then I I think I'll hook onto the trailer. Ready for the harvest. Okay, so gonna see you um, most likely in. July when ready to harvest okay welcome back everyone joining me on a nice July morning it is nine o'clock in the morning and our canola field is now ready to harvest so let's jump in the combine I went for the New Holland CH770 <laughs> And, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's get this harvested. I mean, I left you lot last time in November, and we're now in July. And in that, like, seven months, in like the seven months or so, 
we've made 784,000 so <coughs> yeah the greenhouses are a bit overpowered so please do let me know what you think I should do Okay everyone, so the harvesting is almost done now, just on the final strip. Now I'm going to check the price of the canola, how much it sells for, because we have enough money to hold it till it sells, till, the, till it's best till it's at its best sell price so okay, there we go 
base. Done out. Oh, so when's the best sale price for it? So canola. Um Actually, yeah, I think we will sell it because it's virtually at its best price. You know, it's only like $60 maybe less than its best price. So, so yeah, I think we'll sell it now. Now it would be nice to try and get it all to sell same time so that we get one figure and then we can really see how much we got from this crop. <laughs> so if I do that and then quickly switch to the combine and move the combine over so now it should be It should give us just the one amount. So, one hundred and fifty-two thousand and ninety-nine, and we're up to nine hundred and forty thousand. Um, I'll get a forklift. Um, get my favorite one, which is this Komatsu. <laughs> and then in the next episode, we're going to get that all replanted, probably. And I'm um, going to finish construction on the yard. Now, I think I'm going to put soybeans in there next. <laughs> well, I'd like to put soybeans in there next. Um, What I'm going to do, I'm going to deactivate the productions for now and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward in the next episode to um, April and we're going to get the soybeans in the ground. Oh. Actually, no, I might keep them active. And what I'll do in the next episode, I'm going to finish building the yard and I'm going to buy some more land and create some more fields. And then... Once I've created some more fields, then it will fast forward over to... Um, April, I believe it was. Yeah, we'll fast forward to April for soybeans.
Anyway, I do hope you lot have enjoyed the video. Please do remember to like, subscribe, share, turn the notifications on. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video.